Sup my dudes, Val here. And today we're gonna to be going over the top five categories slash teams, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm gonna be doing. And we're going to be talking about it and talking about what I think is the best teams in the game. So let's go ahead, let's kick this off. Um to nobody should be surprised by this, but number one, we have spiritual sensitivity. So why spiritual sensitivity? Well, if you go look at spiritual sensitivity, they have access to basically every single really good unit. Um, if you go over here, you just open it up, you look, you can see Gojo is the lead. Gojo is still insanely strong. Um, you have Peem, you have Shiro, then you have Krona, who's amazing for Abyss. If you guys did Abyss, you guys know how good Krona is. And then you have Taruki, who's absolutely nuts himself. Like, you have all these really, really, really strong units on SS. Yeah, just a really, really insane category. I don't think I need to talk about it too, too much. Uh, there's really not a lot of bad units on this category. You can see, literally, I think there's, like, only a small handful of units. These have Evos. I just haven't done it. Uh, but you don't have an Evo. You don't have an Evo. You have an Evo. So there's like a very small handful of units that don't have evos on this category. This category is cracked out of its mind. Easily the best category in the game again. Uh, welcome back to the SS game. Uh, spatial sensitivity is easily the best team in the game again. Next up, what I believe is the second best category in the game. Uh, let's go over here. Let's unclick this. Let's scroll down and click youth. Uh, I do believe youth is probably the second best category in the game. I go here. You guys can see. Uh, Power Reaper got a youth lead, attack plus 130%, and because he now has this 130% lead, uh, you guys can see that it's just an absolutely stacked out of its mind category. Uh, Taruki is here again, but now Taruki has a lot of help. Uh, youth has like, I think like 77 to 80 units in it. It's just cracked out of its mind, absolutely insane, really, 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 really high power category, super, 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 super good. Just absolutely insanely good. Also, Xeno's on this as well. So, yeah. Uh, youth is just nuts. So, next up, now that we got Youth out of the way, I'm going to call at number three, Treasure Hunter. Uh, the reason being is Gilgamesh's lead is nuts. Gilgamesh is nuts. Uh, Shiro is nuts. And now they also have a category buffer. The category buffer is Senku. So, this team was already really, really, really good because now you have Gilgamesh, Muj, and Shiro all on one team. But now they have a category buffer in Senku, making them that much better. Like Treasure Hunter is just a very, very strong category. Has access to Emperor Luffy, has access to Sung Jin Woo. Access to a bunch of really good stuff. And you can see, it's not a very big category. There's not a whole lot of units in it, but the units in it are just that good. The units in it are so good that the category is just nuts. It's just really, really, really strong. Um, just a really good category in my opinion. I do believe in, I do believe this number three. So at number four, we have honor and integrity. Um, did I make an H and I team? I might have forgotten to make an H and I team. I did forget to make an H and I team. It doesn't matter because honor and integrity, I can just show you guys a category and you guys will get why I put it at number four. Uh let's go up here. And now look, yeah, like every good units on this category the ex the leader is noel it doesn't have a full 120 lead or anything like that but noel does attack 90 percent cost minus 20 percent spa minus 10 percent so it's like a 110 lead with minus 20 cost uh all in all really really damn good and with noel being the lead her having drowning and stuff yes you lose some attack and being on this lead in fact you lose a good bit attack but you have stuff like Naruto on the lead, you have Genos, you have a uh, Dog Captain, you have a ton of really good units, Boros, Adam, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, this category is just bonkers beyond belief. You have Alter and Gilgamesh on the same category. Just an absolutely insane category. If it ever gets a real lead, then yeah, it's, it's going to be Jover. Next up is going to be the final one and the fifth team, which is Fierce Fighter. Now, Fierce Fighter has a ton of units. Now, the weakest part of Fierce Fighter and why it's number five, why it's not higher than Honor and Integrity, is Vegito himself, the leads. Uh, the Fierce Fighter leads, as far as I know, is only like Vegito and Bucci, and Bucci isn't very good. Vegito isn't very good. So you have your choice between not very good and not very good in terms of leads right now. Uh, but in the future, if, um, if Vegito ever gets buffed, 
or we get other fierce fighter leads then yeah well also i think truck coon even though he's not here is a 100 fierce fighter lead anyways you get the idea uh there's lots of units on fierce fighter and they're strong they're really strong you can see um right here we have ragna gojo adam uh boros and then basically every single dragon ball unit which is absolutely nuts yeah this is just an absolutely stack stack category and it's going to only get better with time like with time this category is just going to get stronger and stronger i do think that this is a top five category in the game it's mostly carried by boros right now but hikari toji uh gojo etc i think boros is really carrying the the majority of the load right now but yeah and with the parameters of fierce fighter whenever hit gets made hit should be on fierce fighter as well because i believe fierce fighter is anybody that throws hands um anyone who throws hands in a fight and hit definitely throws hands so hit's going to be on here as well this category is just nuts it's just a super strong category um and also it's all buffed by leaders so yeah now you can if you time it right you can do the Sinku stacking with leader and have a lot of fun that way but yeah either way this is my top five i think these are top five categories in the game if you think i'm wrong let me know and let me know why you think i'm wrong anyways thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next one peace